Now, you might be wondering, is it important to know every programming language there is? Short answer, no. Long answer, no. In general, still no. And there's a big reason why. Programming languages are just a tool to do something. Then what do I do? You focus on the base concepts instead. But what are these base concepts? These are concepts that don't really apply to one single language, but rather to all. Things like data structures, algorithms, and problem solving skills. But why are these so important? Because they form the backbone of every software application, no matter what language you're using. Whether you're building a website, an app, or even AI systems, it's the same core principles behind it all. Knowing how to sort data efficiently, it's a skill that transcends every programming language but definitely don't use bubble sort. The same goes for understanding memory management, how to work with large data sets, or even the concept of recursion. Once you understand these ideas, switching from Python to Java or from JavaScript to Go becomes a whole lot easier. So if you're thinking, do I need to learn every single syntax? The answer is still a big fat no. But here's the catch. You do need to master these universal concepts. And mastering these actually makes you stand out during interviews because it shows that you understand the logic behind the code and not just the code itself. Employers want to see that you can think like a programmer, not just type out syntax. Now, let me tell you a story. Back when I was starting to code, I spent hours, days even, trying to memorize every syntax for multiple languages. I thought that knowing the exact way to write something in five different languages was the key to success. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. I didn't land my first job because I could write bubble sort in C++, Python, and JavaScript. I got it because I showed them how I could solve a problem no matter the language. And here's something even more important. Syntax is just a Google search away. You don't need to memorize how to write a for loop in Python. What matters is that you know when you need a for loop and why. Just in the past month, I've used C Sharp for a backend, TypeScript and React for a frontend with some knockout, Ruby for a pipeline code, automation scripts in Bash and Python, and road queries for MongoDB and JavaScript. And most of the content that I make for my community, I do that in Java. Do I know the exact syntax for all of these off the top of my head? Nope and that's fine. The point is, once you've mastered the foundational concepts, adapting to a new language becomes second nature. The syntax is just the details. The real skill is problem solving. But here's the thing, just like with any tool, some are better suited for certain jobs than others. Sure, you could use a screwdriver to hammer in a nail, but wouldn't you just use a hammer for that instead? It's the same with programming languages. For example, if you're working on embedded systems, you'd probably reach for C or C++ or even Rust because they give you more control over memory management and performance. For automating scripts or handling data quickly, Python is typically a go-to choice because of its simplicity and the vast amount of libraries that it has. Each language comes with its strengths and weaknesses, but once you understand the underlying concepts, figuring out which one is the right for the job is just a Google search away as well. You do not need to master them all. All you need to understand is which tool is better for what job. And this understanding plays a big role in making you a more efficient and adaptable programmer. So remember this, it's not about knowing all the tools. It's about knowing how to use them effectively and how to choose the right one for the job. Focus on the core ideas, the foundations of programming. This is what will land you a job in today's market. And that's how you stand out. Not by memorizing every Every language, but by understanding the fundamentals that apply to every single one of them. Do you want to learn more about these essential programming patterns and concepts? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so that you don't miss any of my videos. Whether you're just starting or preparing for your next big interview, I've got you covered. Keep pushing, keep learning, and stay curious.